Hello, I'm Philip Myers of Pemme Consulting. This is probably one of the most terrifying incidents possible for a storage tank full of millions of gallons of highly flammable liquid. It happened in a refinery in Tehran, Iran, on June 2nd, 2021. I don't have the details and I only offer my personal observations and attempt to interpret the events as they unfold. Finally, of course, there are lessons learned in all this, because tanks should never fail this way. I know of no tank that has failed catastrophically if the API standards have been properly applied. In any case, you can Google Tehran Tank Fire, and several videos will come up in new articles about this. I'm going to show you the essence of a video recorded by a cell phone recording of an operations display. So quality is not the best, but watch anyway. We'll first show the most critical section of the clip, then I will go through the video freezing it at various points to offer some interpretations and perspectives about what is going on. A useful challenge for you, if you are in tank work, would be to look at the first section of this video and see if you can determine what kinds of things are really going on. Wow, that was something. The tank appears to be a floating roof tank. Can the failure be attributed to brittle failure, excessive corrosion, floating roof problem, incomplete repair, sabotage? Your guess is as good as mine. Now watch this area carefully. Next, I would like you to notice the propagation of the shell failure going horizontal. For catastrophic tank failures, this is unusual to unheard of because there are no global axial membrane stresses. All the stresses in the hoop direction, so catastrophic shell ruptures are vertical, not horizontal, not at least until now. This indicates a possible poor horizontal joint, very low toughness steel, severe corrosion at the horizontal weld joints or other possible mechanisms. Also notice the strange color change from white spray to what looks like liquid turning black. But as soon as the rip propagates, I would say the ripping crack is over 100 feet horizontal. But I don't believe the liquid is black. I think you are seeing a huge opening into the horizontal crack, maybe 10 feet wide at the center. And the black caused by seeing into the tank, which would be totally black due to no light inside the tank with the floating roof covering the daylight. The next thing I want you to notice is the collapse of the tank. With the liquid coming out so fast, Bernoulli's law creates a partial vacuum which assists in collapsing the walls of the tank as can be seen by the buckling. The crack expands to at least half the circumference and the tank falls down exposing the floating roof. It's really quick. In the next clip, two things happen very quickly. First, observe that in a catastrophic release like this, there is no way that conventional berms are going to contain the liquid. You can see the liquid jet up over the berms, resulting from the high velocity rising upwards to 15 to 20 feet. At the same time, an ignition occurs at the gauge's platform. This is where the electrical is connected for lightning, gauging, and so on. The falling tank tears conduits and wires and a spark occurs. Next we see the overtopping of the berms and the escalation of the fire into a true disaster scenario. Now for the terror of this video. Never mind other tanks catching on fire, the LPG spheres are being heated by the flames. This is a classic case of the dreaded blevy or boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion. If you don't know what that is, Google it. It along with the crude oil boilover phenomenon are the two worst nightmare scenarios for firefighters. I don't think they had a blevy and were very fortunate. It's incredible that dozens or hundreds of people were not killed. This is based on public information about the incident, but who knows the whole truth in this case. Unfortunately, there is no agency like the U.S. Chemical Safety Board that I know of in Iran, so formal lessons learned from this incident may never be available. Be safe and thank you for your attention.